What's up everybody? Ken Granger here with Brandco and I'm super excited to show you one of the new features that we have on Property Press for our custom market center websites. What we're looking at here is the Keller Williams Realty Select and this is uh, over in Sarasota, the Gulf Coast of uh, Florida and they've built a uh, custom website with us and I want to show you how you um, how our white page integration works and how you can create different categories of agents in your market center. So to do that let's take a quick look at the uh, find an agent section here and basically we pull white pages every night sometime in the middle of the morning and we pull any new agents that you've brought on they're added to white pages or any agents that have left your market center uh, will be removed and you'll notice that this is not starting in alphabetical order here it's very random and we've done that on purpose the uh, previous e-agency websites people would try and trick the system to try and get their name further up the top of the list uh, it was sorted alphabetically starting at A and, and ending at the last name Z and uh, if your last name was Zoolander and you put a dash before it, you'd show up at the top of the list. And it was just not fair, to be honest. So um, what we've done is we've randomized this. So every time the page will load, it pulls in agents uh, in a random order. And um, if you know who you're looking for, though, so let's say, for example, we were looking for an agent named Susan. You can just type that here. And what it'll do is it'll go find all the Susans in your market center and bring them to the top. But, um, you know, if you're just looking for an agent in the Sarasota area, again, this will be just randomized and the agents will show up in random order. You'll notice that some folks don't have a uh, photo here and that's because they didn't have a photo on white pages or they even uploaded the KW logo in, in, uh, uh, in, in, instead of their photo. Uh, what I want to show you today is uh, over here in the back end of Property Press. Now, there's other videos here on how um, to use your back end. But uh, what I want to show you here is how you can categorize these agents. So you'll see here that we've got all the agents here. And these are in um, descending order of when they came on board. So it looks like these two agents are actually brand new to this office. And um, you can see they're doing a pretty good job uh, onboarding agents this month. But uh, if you wanted to, you can sort this by title. So this would sort them by name. Or, like in the example we used a little bit earlier, if you were looking for an agent named Susan, you could come over here and start typing Susan, and it would pull up this, if you had search agents, it would pull up all the Susans in the Market Center. Um, but let's use Abigail as our example here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit. And this is where you can make some modifications of the agent's profile. So if you wanted to put in biographies for each of your agents, you could do that. If the uh, photo that was uploaded to White Pages is not the best one and you wanted to add a higher quality or higher resolution photo, you could add a new image there. But what I want to show you on the right hand side is this is the area that um, we can add different types or groups of agents. So if we come in here and we just add a new agent type, and let's say that's luxury. This would now make Abigail a luxury agent because this box was checked. So we could add or remove this. So we, we'll go ahead and uh, check it and hit update. And now when we come over to um, our Market Center website and we refresh this agent profile page or find an agent page, we're going to see that there's now a couple options. So we have an option for, I'm talking faster than the page loading, uh, option for the eight all agents or now luxury agents. And if we click on luxury, it would then obviously filter down and only show Abigail because she's got the checkbox. And if we wanted to, we could go back to our all agents over here and give that checkbox to another agent. So um, once you create the, um, we'll give it to David here. Once you create that um, checkbox in one agent profile, it's now available for you to use in other agent profiles. So we click on agent types here and luxury when we click update and uh, refresh this page over on this side, we'll see that both Abigail and um, David are now luxury agents. So you can do that with luxury, you can do that with commercial, and uh, maybe you'd even want to do that with GPS if you have some agents in your market center that are that, or uh, maybe your ALC. So these agent types, as you create them, like I said, are available to other profiles, and as soon as you have at least one agent in that category, it's going to show up on your um, Find an Agent page with uh, this little box that you can check to add agents uh, or to view agents or filter agents based on those different categories. So we think this is super helpful and super useful. Uh, the other thing you'll notice here is that there's a page up here that says agent type. So if you wanted to link to your navigation that says find an agent and then you had one called commercial, you could do that and just link over to this page. 
So it's super helpful for getting your agents into the right categories and buckets so that people can find them. And uh, obviously those agents that have put the extra time into designations or Keller Williams programs, you can reward them by having a special section for them on your new Market Center website. So I hope you enjoyed that and you find this useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to help at brandco.com. And I hope you all have a great day.